ho! Merry Christmas. Money's on the counter? No. Get out. Oh, anyways, welcome to Cooking with Craig. The Bailey's edition. This is the repeat or remix of the original Bailey's that I made just recently. This one has a few more ingredients that I think you will all like and a few extra measurements. First off, we we'll use the Ninja Blender. The Ninja Blender, as I said earlier, contains a tower of death and each ninja was guaranteed to have assassinated a president. So I wrote to the company and said, well, the president said my ninjas assassinate. I got back Richard Nixon, Jimmy Carter, and an attempt on Chuck Norris. Yeah, I found that kind of hard to believe too. Obviously, it was failed because he did a roundhouse kick, his chopped off his own foot on my ninjas, and it regrew instantly. His truck horse is awesome. <laughs> so, aside from that, the other mystery. The other presidents are a mystery. We don't even care about that. Because we want ice cream. <laughs> so we're going to start off with Briars, it's all natural. And there is a, there's a reason I choose Briars all natural. As long as it says natural vanilla on it, you're good. The ingredients are basically milk, cream sugar, tartar gum, and natural flavors. You can't get any more natural than this besides being naked. This is for demonstration purposes only. This is shit, or what you would serve to guests at a party. I'm not even going to list the ingredients. There's too many of them. Let's just say it's about as artificial as Jenna Jameson's boobs. Now that we got that, I decided to start measuring. You ask why? Well. This shit's expensive. Start off with some DiSorano Amaretto. Now, Amaretto adds the alcohol that we need and a little bit of sweetness. This cup is exactly one cup. I fill it to the lines, it's probably a half a cup. Now we're done with DiSorano and my Olympic weight class. Bailey's. Gotta love this stuff. I'm going to pour the Bailey's, which comes out a lot quicker than the Amaretto. Be careful. Pour it in. And maybe a half cup, just for good measures. I'm gonna get to it and happy tonight. A long work week. It's a but it's also raining out. So that means it's shitty outside. For some milk. Now the secret ingredient, if we get all the girls running together. Fudge. That's right, good whole some fudge. Two chunks of fudge. Yeah, I like it. And a lizard, for good measure, you will watch the blending in action. Now the ice is optional. I like it because it keeps it colder for longer. And it also has the tendency to make it a little extra consistency. like that. And now to make our forefathers proud of us, because as we know, Ben Franklin, God bless him, even said, beer is God's way of showing he loves us. They found this country on drinking. And in fact, prohibition was an accident. Glenn Lebet, 15 year age scotch. This stuff is manliness in a bottle. And that's why we're going to man this up. 
Yeah, it's a little on the light side right now. Oh. It's a hell of a measure. A splash of that stuff and to start what was already here growing in the, in the container. Back. This is the English oak variety of Glen Good stuff. And now we'll give it a whirl. Shitty rainy afternoon after work. And this is cooking with food. 